Schedule 1 is a brand new 2025 game running on the Unity engine. And these are the game's minimum system requirements. And yeah, I know, I've already made an FPS boost video on it before. But this time, I'm doing things a little differently. I've got a new style, a new method, and something really cool to show you. My custom-made fake FSR mod. Yup, fake but super useful. Now real AMD FSR, or Fidelity FX Super Resolution is a tech by AMD that improves performance by lowering the internal resolution and upscaling it smartly to make it look smooth and sharp. My mod doesn't do it exactly the same way, but it gives you a similar benefit. You can switch between multiple resolutions live in-game just by pressing hotkeys, from super low to high, depending on what your PC can handle. It's like having resolution control on the fly, and it can seriously boost your FPS on low-end setups. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to squeeze every last drop of performance out of Schedule 1. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. All right, so first I'm going to run the game using my integrated graphics. Under the Display tab, I've set the resolution to 1080p, Display Mode to Exclusive Full Screen, V-Sync is turned off, and the target frame rate is set to its highest value. One important thing to note, resolution switching only works when the Display Mode is set to Windowed. If you're using exclusive full screen or even regular full screen, the resolution change won't take effect in real time, which is kind of a downside for this game. Moving over to the graphics tab, everything is set to the lowest possible settings to get the best performance. So with all of that applied, let's jump into the game and check out how it performs. So I'd say the game is somewhat playable at this point. It's not perfect, but it's manageable. However, if you're still facing lag or stutters, don't worry. Stick around till the end of the video, because I've got something awesome to show you. So now, let's quit the game and work on improving its performance. First, go ahead and download the zip file linked in the video description. Once downloaded, extract it. Now, before you get concerned about the DLL file being a virus or Trojan, let me clear that up. It's 100% safe and created by me. Sometimes Windows Defender or other antivirus software might show false alerts for custom-made DLLs like this. That's just because the file isn't recognized by their database, not because it's dangerous. These are common false positives that happen with modded or custom-coded files. So after extracting the zip, you'll find two files, one application and one DLL file. The application is the Melon Loader installer, which we'll use to inject the mod into the game. The DLL file is my custom fake FSR mod. To install it, just launch the Melon Loader installer Then click here and choose the executable file of Schedule 1. If you see an error saying the game is already added, that's fine. Just select it from the list. Then choose the latest version and hit Install. Make sure your internet is connected, as it will need to download some necessary files, Once installation is complete, copy the FSR mod DLL file into the Schedule 1 game directory. Specifically into the mods folder, and that's it. We're ready to launch the game and move on to the next steps. And now, after launching the game, you can activate the FSR mod using the toggle keys. F1, F2, F3, F4, and F5. The lower the key number, the lower the resolution, resulting in more pixelated visuals but significantly higher FPS. It's totally up to you and your hardware preference which preset you want to stick with. To give you an idea, pressing F1 sets the resolution to 250p, F2 to 360p, F3 to 450p, F4 to 540p, and F5 to 720p. What's cool is that you won't notice any screen shrinking, black bars, or weird resizing during the switch. It all looks seamless. That's why I call it a fake FSR mod. It's not official AMD FSR, but it works in a similar way by dynamically lowering resolution for performance gains. And yes, the FPS boost is real. You can literally see the difference at each preset, plus the FPS is even higher when I'm not screen recording. So yeah, that wraps up today's video. If you found it helpful, then make sure to like, subscribe, 
and also share this with your low-spec gamer friends so they can also enjoy playing Schedule 1 on their low to extremely low-end machines. And I'll catch you all again in the next video. So until then, take care and bye.